Well, g'day, flatties and globe defenders. It's critical thing from down under. And I've finally had a chance to capture an ISS transit. Now, me good mate and Wolfpack member Wally alerted me to this a couple of days ago. And uh, it was about 30 kilometres to travel and I wasn't too keen, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. And so I've captured my very first ISS transit. Yeah! And so I'm going to show it to you in this video. So this was the prediction for the viewing of the ISS Transit and provided by uh, issfinder.com. I calculated this position to be somewhere near the center of the lunar transit and it's about 30 kilometers to drive and that's at the corner of Eaton's Crossing Road and Bunya Road. So there was a um, not very populated area, a bit quiet, a few cars and crickets and uh, not many cars and not many crickets so that was it. Here's what it looks like in the daytime now we were over on that patch of gravel there, it looked a little bit different, it was night time as well but that was the spot. Now you flatties have got to ask yourselves a question, I know you love to question everything this is a question you you got to ask yourself. What are the chances that you'll see this by going to a particular spot at a particular time? How do people know that you're going to be able to see that from that spot at that time? And if you were to turn up randomly at any spot on Earth, think about what are the chances that you will actually see what I've filmed here on this occasion? It's got to be... oh at least several million to one at least you know you can go out there with your camera any random location and you're never going to see what we see here so the question for your flatties is how do we know how do we know that this is what we're going to film and where we're going to film it and what time we're going to film it it's almost a full moon with good visibility conditions I do apologize for the shake in the camera my tripod is not the best and I wanted to try and make sure the moon stayed in the shot so yeah, that combined made it a little bit shaky but we'll see the ISS anyway. So did you see it or did you blink? I'll play it a bit slower so you can get a better look.